If you're into prehistoric life, you may have heard of sea scorpions. The giant scary arthropods that patrolled the primitive seas long before the age of the dinosaurs. These creatures ranged from the tiny Alcanopterus to the terrifyingly huge Yacolopterus. They swam the seas for over 215 million years, longer than the non-avian dinosaurs. So how did these strange creatures become so successful, and why did they go extinct? To answer this question, we will take a look back in time to analyze the rise and fall of sea scorpions. Now before we get started on our journey, we need to set a few things straight. Sea scorpions are not real scorpions, but actually their own separate order of arthropods. And second, the more accurate name for sea scorpions is Eurypterids. We'll still use the words sea scorpion and Eurypterid interchangeably throughout the video. Okay, let's get started. The earliest known sea scorpion was Pentacopterus decorahensi, which lived way back in the Middle Ordovician, around 467 million years ago. As far as sea scorpions go, Pentacopterus was huge, measuring up to 5 feet 7 inches in length, about the size of an average human. Pentacopterus had multiple appendages, some used for feeding and some used for swimming. 460 million years ago, another sea scorpion appeared. It was Brachiopterus, and it was much smaller than Pentacopterus, around 6 inches long. It used its appendages for walking across the ocean floor looking for food. By the late Ordovician, sea scorpions had greatly diversified. Despite a mass extinction at the very end of the Ordovician, sea scorpions continued to thrive and diversify into the Silurian. Sea scorpions were now competing more and more with fish, which also experienced extreme diversification in the Silurian. Eurypterus was by far the most successful Eurypterid, making up 95% of all sea scorpion fossils. Pterygotus was one of the biggest sea scorpions, growing to a size of 5.5 feet in length. By the end of the Silurian, sea scorpions were some of the most successful animals in the world, but that was about to change. At the start of the Devonian, sea scorpion diversity peaked. It is at this time that the largest sea scorpion that ever lived swam the seas, Yacolopterus. At around 8 feet long, it still holds the record for the largest arthropod to ever live. During the Devonian, placoderm fish became larger, faster, and more agile. Sea scorpions started having trouble competing with these new and improved predators for food. In just 10 million years, Eurypterid diversity dropped 50%. Sea scorpion diversity continued to decline throughout the Devonian. Some Eurypterids fought back by getting bigger, faster, and more agile in order to compete with placoderms. This is why the biggest sea scorpions lived during the Devonian. But even these newly equipped sea scorpions would eventually start going extinct. More trouble came with the late Devonian extinction, which wiped out many sea scorpions, even ones that had remained successful throughout the Devonian. Only a few sea scorpions made it past the Devonian into the Carboniferous. At the start of the Devonian, Eurypterids were the widespread kings of the ocean, but by the end, nearly all of them were gone. The only sea scorpions that remained lived in fresh water, which helped them avoid competition from placoderms. Ironically, placoderms actually went extinct during the late Devonian extinction. In the beginning of the Carboniferous, there were still big sea scorpions. The bottom-feeding Hippertopterus grew to 6 feet long and was likely heavier than the enormous Yacolopterus. Hippertopterus, however, went extinct during the middle of the Carboniferous. One Eurypterid that did experience success throughout the Carboniferous was the tiny Adeloflomus, who had been around since the early Devonian. However, as the Carboniferous gave way to the Permian, climate change caused Adeloflomus' habitats to disappear. The once successful Adeloflomus quickly went extinct. At this point, the story of the Eurypterids was coming to an end. Most of the sea scorpions that remained were horseshoe crab-like bottom feeders. 
far different from the fierce predators of the Silurian and Devonian. As the Permian progressed, the last sea scorpions, one by one, went extinct. The last sea scorpion, Campylocephalus, went extinct during the late Permian mass extinction 251 million years ago. And that is the rise and fall of sea scorpions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.